Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Vortex Manoj Roy. Exercise 1.2 part 2. This is the question like 6 onward. In question number 6, when you see the universal set is like all everything is your universal set, like everything is included. So let's see. Uh, given that the number of elements in universal sets are 50, it means we can write that the total here is equals to 50. All when we add everything is coming 50. So we can make an equation first, like here, like 2x plus x plus 1 plus x minus 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 0 plus x plus 5 is equal to 50. This is the first condition. This the sum of all the numbers like equals to 50 because the universal said numbers are 50. So in this we can do x, x, and x. 4x and this is 5x. So 5x 1 and 1 cancel out. 2 and 3 is 5 and 5, 10 is equals to 50 minus 10 is 40. And x is coming. 8. This is the first value. That's we got the value of x. So okay, find the okay. This is what like when we know the value of x. Suppose this part, this part. So 2 multiplied by 8 will be is equals to 16. There will be 16 elements in this part. 16. Uh, this will be 8 plus 1 is 9. 8 minus 1 is 7. So these are the elements number of elements 2 is there 3 is there 0 is there and 8 plus 5 is 13 so now we have all the elements now what is the next target actually uh, the next target is this we need to find the shaded part here this is very simple method like so first of all uh, i will start from b how many elements are in b which areas are in b this is b this is b this is b and this is b so I want to use different color for C complement. In C complement, which areas are coming in C complement? C complement means that without C, all is all areas are irresolute. So this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. So X, no, sorry, this will not come because this is a part of C. Sorry. Only without C, everything is result. Okay. Now just observe one thing. In this part B, this is the A part. In part B, uh, that intersection, like intersection, this is here intersection. What is common in both the colors? Both the colors are common is this one and this one. So it means we write the number of elements in B intersection C complement is equals to 9 plus 7, and that's coming. 16. It's done. Moving to C part. In C part, uh, is get okay. Sorry, we have another part. So I want to use again. This is uh, my method I normally use. So I want to use once again all the like here. Okay. Now starting from once again. This is 9, this is 3, this is 9 here. Okay. Once again, this I use for B. Which area are like here is B? So B is 1, 2, 3, and 4. And I'm talking about now A complement. I will use I will use different colors. So A complement means without A. Without the circle, without the circle A, all is your result. So this is this is this is. Uh, like also this but this there is no uh, value outside so no problem so now what is here what is common in both the value what is common here this is intersection means what is common so i will write in the b part second number of elements number of elements in a complement intersection b which area are common we have two colors uh, 7 and 0 7 plus 0 is equals to 7 and that's your answer it's very simple now because intersection means like we, the, those area where we have the common uh, color now we write number of inter like uh, number of a intersection b intersection c 
complement this is very important part so once again i would like to use here this is 9 this is 9 here okay this is 9 here okay this is nine. okay okay first of all i would like to do c complement what area is c complement c complement means this one this one and this one this is c complement also this one there is no number but c complement is this area now what you have to do what is the common in a and b first of all what is the result of a and b a and b the common area is this one uh, here i use different color okay this is both the areas like this is complete uh, a intersection b this a intersection b and the c complement green color which color is common here now so i will write the c is equals to the number of elements in a intersection b intersection c complements are only nine that's only nine because i cannot write three because three is not the part of c complement so that's your result all the complements and we have done question number six in question number seven uh, the universal set is from two to ten and all the other members will be like this uh, p is equals to factor of 24 so factor of 24 it comes in two three four not in five not in six seven eight not in nine because in ten so this is because the limit of the universal set is from two to ten like in 24 comes in 2, 3, 4, 6, and 8. So, okay. Q is factor of 15. So, factor of 15 will be 3. Uh, then we can have 5 because from the universal set. 3, not 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, I think so there is nothing. Only 3 and 5 are the factors of 15. Okay. Uh, this was the A part. We are talking about the list of elements of P and Q. P and Q are there. Okay. What is P complement? The P complement will be without P. So, 1 is not there because starting from 2, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. This is P complement because P complement means universal minus P. And what is Q complement? Q complement will be definitely not 3 and 5. All the elements 2, 3, not 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Because the limit of the universal set is there. Now, what is the intersection between these two? The intersection, you can see the intersection is uh, 10 is there. 9 is there. 7 is there and i think so it's done so right answer is seven nine and ten that's the result of this part moving to part b number of elements because this is not the number of elements when they ask number of elements there are three elements but we need to write the list of the elements now in this what we need we need to find the p intersection q first what is p intersection q when you see p intersection q what is common the three is common and nothing so right like i can write the set list is coming three but the number of elements in p intersection q is equals to one same thing uh this is p intersection q we have already okay this the same link is here because we need to find the number of elements in p intersection p complement intersection q complements are three and that's we have done Question number 8, uh, we have the universal set is from 1 till 18. And if you want to write P, P is here, you can see the 2N. It means we write the uh, multiples of 2. So multiples of 2 means I will write 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. Because uh, we will write till 18 because the limit of the universal set is 1 to 18 then we need to write the q q is like 3 n means multiple of 3 so multiple of 3 means from the list of the universal set is 3 6 9 12 15 
80. And thus we have done. Now, what's the next part? List the element. Okay, we have done. And P intersection Q will be what is common in P, like here, is 3, 6 common. We have 12 common. And we have 18 common. So, right answer is 6, 12, and 18. So, we have done the first part. The number of now. To find the, okay, but requirement is number of elements. So, this is not the right answer. We have to write how many numbers elements are there. 1, 2, 3. This is your result. Uh, now, P complement is P complement without P. I will write 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15, 17, and not 18 because the limit is still. 18 universal sense. So Q complement is 1, 2, not 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 10, 11, 13, 14, 16, 17, and that's it. This is Q complement. And we need to find the P complement intersection. Q complement means what is common in both. So in the common, both are 1. Sorry, yes, 1 here. Yeah, 1 is there. Okay, 1 is there, 5 is there, 7 is there, 11 is there, 13 is there, and 17 is there. So, we write, like, these are the elements which are common, 1, 5, 7, 11, 13, and 17. Now, how many number of elements are there in P complement intersection Q complement? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, there are 6 elements in uh, like P complement intersection Q complement. Uh, question number 9 is about the shading. Like shading the Venn diagram. This is very important. So, I made the separate video for question number 9. That will be after this. Uh, I hope this, this video is useful for you. Once again, I would like to say this, please comment if you think, if you need something more, please write in the comments. I will make the videos and please share with your friends. Thank you so much and have a nice day.